That's the same atrocious aftershave you wore in court three years ago. Yeah, I keep getting it for Christmas. That's the same atrocious aftershave you wore in court. I keep getting it for Christmas. <sighs> Christmas? Yeah. Did you get my car? Get my car. I got it, thank you. So nice of the Bureau's crime lab to forward that. They wouldn't give me our home address. And how is Officer Stewart? The one who was first to see my basement. Stewart's fine. Emotional problems out here. Do you have any problems, Will? No. No. Of course you don't. <laughs> I'm glad you came. My callers are mostly clinical psychologists from Cornfield University somewhere. Second raters, the lot. Dr. Bloom sent me your article on surgical addiction in the Journal of Forensic Psychiatry. And? And? Very interesting. Even to a layman. You say you're a layman. But it was you who caught me. Wasn't it, Well. Do you know how you did it? I got lucky. I don't think you believe that. It's in the transcript. What does it matter now? Doesn't matter to me, Well, I need your advice, Dr. Lecter. I want you to help me, Dr. Lecter. Yes. I thought so. It's about Atlanta and Birmingham. Yes? You read about it? In the papers. I don't tear out the articles. I wouldn't want them to think I was dwelling on anything more than you. Birmingham and Atlanta. You, you want to know how you choose them, don't you? don't you? I thought you might have some ideas. Why should I tell you? I thought you'd have some ideas. I'm asking you to tell me what they are. Why should I? There are things you don't have. Research materials, maybe even computer access. I'd speak to the chief of staff. Ah, yes, Dr. Chilton. Gruesome, isn't he? He fumbles at your head like a freshman pulling at a panty girdle. If you recall, well, our last collaboration ended rather messily. You get to file on this case. And there's, and there's another reason. Great talk. I'm all ears. I thought you might enjoy the challenge. But you might be curious. Find to out see if you're smarter than the person I'm looking for. Then by implication, you think you're smarter than I am. Since it was you who caught me. Oh, I know I'm not smarter than you. Then how did you catch me? You had... You had disadvantages. What disadvantages? You're insane. You are very tan, Will. Your hands are rough. They don't look like cops' hands anymore. And that shaving lotion is something a child would select. It has a ship on the bottle, doesn't it? You're very tanned, Will. And your hands are so rough, not like a cop's hands anymore. And that shaving lotion is something a child would select. Has a little ship on the bottle, does it not? And how is young Josh and the lovely Molly? They're always in my thoughts, you know. You will not persuade, persuade me what appeals to my intellectual vanity. I don't think I'll persuade you at all. You either do it or you won't. You'll either do it or you won't. Besides, we have Dr. Bloom working on it, and he's the best. Do you have the file? case file? Yes. yes. Pictures? Yes. Let me have them, and I might consider it. No. With photos, let me keep them, and I might consider it. No. Dream much, dream much well. Will. Goodbye, Goodbye, Dr. Lecter. You haven't threatened to take, take away, away my books yet. Let me have the file and I'll tell you what I think. Give me the file then. And I'll tell you what I think. I need one hour and privacy. Just like old times, eh, well?